Enzymes by Navneet Paha and Bobby St. Pierre. And in this presentation, we will be discussing the catechol oxidase activity and temperature maps. <coughs> catechol oxidase activity, introduction and procedure. Introduction. Catechol oxidase is an enzyme in plants that creates benzoquinone. Benzoquinone is a substance that is toxic to bacteria. It is brown and the reason that fruit turns brown after being sliced. And as you can see in the picture below, uh, to the right is a freshly cut apple. The inside is white and it's um, like not brown at all. But then on the left you see a sliced apple that has been kept out for a while. And you see that it has turned brown and that is because of the catechol oxidase. Hypothesis. In this lab, we were testing catechol oxidase activity, and we hypothesized that catechol oxidase would most greatly react with catechol. Procedure. First, we labeled three test tubes, one through three. We pipetted the amount of catechol and water into the appropriate test tubes as outlined in table one. Table one is in the next slide. We don't add the catechol oxidase to all the tubes until just before starting incubation in step 3. We place the test tubes in 37 degrees Celsius water bath for 10 minutes. Then we recorded our results in the table and we used the following scale. 0 for no color change, 1 for little color change, 2 for more color change, and 3 for dark color change. Procedure continued. We used the table below to determine what each test tube would contain. Tube 1 um, would have one milliliter catechol and uh, no milliliter water, but one milliliter catechol oxidase. Test tube two would have no catechol, one milliliter of water, and one milliliter of catechol oxidase. Test tube three would have one milliliter catechol, one milliliter water, and no catechol oxidase. Our negative control group was test tube two. Our positive control group was test tube one. Before, these pictures were taken before the test tubes were placed in 37 degrees Celsius water. Test tube 1, test tube 2, and test tube 3. After, you can see after the test tubes were placed in 37 degrees Celsius water, only test tube 1 had a positive reaction. Both test tubes 2 and 3 had negative reactions, and you can see it right here. Test tube 1, test tube 2, and test tube 3. These were our results. Test tube 1 had a 3 on color change, test tube 2 had a 0 on color change, and test tube 3 had a 0 on color change. Enzymes and temperature procedure. Lab objective and hypothesis. In this lab, we were trying to figure out what was the best temperature that enzymes could work the best in. Hypothesis. The greatest reaction would occur at 40 degrees Celsius because it was closest to human body temperature, which is 37 degrees Celsius. In this lab, catechol oxidase is referred to as potato extract. Procedure. Place one milliliter of potato extract into each of the six test tubes. Heat test tube one to zero degrees, two to 20 degrees, well actually not really heat, more like cool them down. Heat test tube three to 40 degrees, 4 to 60 degrees, 5 to 80 degrees, and 6 to 100 degrees Celsius. And add 1 milliliter of catechol to each test tube and wait 5 minutes for a reaction. Before. As you can see, all the test tubes are filled with potato extract. They are all slightly yellow in color. These pictures were taken before the test tubes were placed into their respective temperatures. 100, 80, 60, 40, 20, and 0. Note that they're all in Celsius. After. After they were placed in to their respective temperature, you see that color change is quite extreme. Um, you see from 0 to 60 degrees, color change is really like great, and 40 degrees is the darkest. But 80 to 100 degrees, you notice that as the temperature increases, the um, uh, color decreases. Our results. We rated color change based on the scale of zero. To no color change, to three, most color change. Zero degrees Celsius was two. 
20 degrees Celsius was a 3, 40 degrees Celsius was also a 3, 60 degrees Celsius was also a 3, 80 degrees Celsius was a 1, and 100 degrees Celsius was a 0. This was a graph of our result. Um, as you can see, 0 was 2, 0 degrees Celsius was a 2, 20 degrees Celsius was a 3, 40 degrees Celsius was a 3, 60 degrees Celsius was a 3, 80 degrees Celsius was a 1, and 100 degrees Celsius have no color change. Conclusion. Um, from test tube 0 degrees Celsius, enzymes can work at this temperature okay. But for 20 degrees Celsius, they can work at the enzymes can work at this temperature well. 40 degrees Celsius, the enzyme catechol oxidase can work at this temperature best. In 60 degrees Celsius, they can work at this temperature well. 80 degrees, temper, uh, degrees Celsius, um, the catechol oxidase can barely work at this. Um, and 100 degrees Celsius, the enzymes have denatured. Conclusion continued. Our hypothesis was correct. The maximum activity of enzyme was at 40 degrees Celsius. And this makes sense because the human body is 37 degrees Celsius and enzymes must function at human body temperature.